Hi friends, I hope all of you are doing great. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mehjubi. Today I am going to explain a short poem composed by Alexander Pope. The subject of this composition is believed to be a woman by the name of Catherine Howard. She was one of Queen Caroline's waiting women and later this lady became the Countess of Suffolk. Alexander Pope composed this poem in 1717. So this is how Alexander Pope starts the poem. He says, I know a thing that's most uncommon and we be silent and attend. I know a reasonable woman, handsome and witty, yet a friend. So he says that I know a thing that's most uncommon. The poet says that he is familiar with somebody or something that is very uncommon, very unique, exceptional. And we be silent and attend an envy, a jealousy. He is personifying jealousy. And he's saying that jealousy, be silent, listen to what I have to say. Don't feel jealous, don't be envious. Be quiet, be patient and hear me out and listen to what I have to say. I know a reasonable woman and he says that I'm familiar with a, with a woman who is reasonable, means she is intelligent, handsome and she's beautiful and witty. That means uh, she's somebody who is interesting, witty, yet a friend and she is someone who is familiar to me. She is, a, uh, she is someone who is close to me. She is a friend, not warped by passion and she is not somebody who is spoiled by passion. She is not excessively passionate, awed by humor, uh, sorry, awed by rumor and she does not uh, take rumor seriously. She does not uh, listen to false narratives. She, she does not uh, allow uh, false narratives to influence her. Not grave through pride and she is not proud and, she does, and as a result she does not uh, exhibit a very serious nature, a very solemn nature because she is not proud. Nor gay through folly and at the same time Although she is not a serious person, I, I also cannot say that she is very cheerful at all times. Because if somebody is very cheerful at all times, it would mean that um, uh, she is doing it. Uh, it's a kind of mistake on her part. It's a negative feature on her part. But uh, he also goes on to say that uh, she is not so gay. And as a result, you ca uh, we cannot say that it's a kind of... Um, that she has some folly because of being uh, too gay, because she is not gay. An equal mixture of good humor and sensible soft melancholy. And she has a, uh, she is good humored and at the same time she is a sensible person, a soft person and a melancholic nature. That means she has a, a nature which shows that she has the capacity to think. She is logical. Has she no faults then? Envy says, sir. Now Envy gets a little uh, impatient and Envy asks, raises a question. Envy, who is, uh, Envy which is being personified here. Envy a feeling. It, um, the uh, writer, the poet is trying to give the impression that he is in a conversation mode with Envy. So has she no faults then? That means now Envy says that what, what you mean to say is that she uh, does not have any defect. Is that so? Yes, she has none. I must ever. Then the poet says, he gives the reply to envy. He says, yes, she has no defects. Um, that is what I have to state. When all the world, when all the world conspires to praise her, the woman's deaf and does not hear. Then he ends the poem on a very interesting note. He says that when all the world conspires to praise her, that means when people try to shower their affection on her, 
or in other words the poet is also talking about himself he says that when he tries to uh, demonstrate his feelings of affection for her the woman's deaf and does not hear she does not respond she does not uh, try to give the impression that she has noticed him uh, in other words what the poet means to say is that when he tries to shower his attention on her she does not uh, respond or uh, rather she behaves as though she has not uh, seen him or as though she has not been able to grasp what he's trying to convey well that's all for today thank you bye